Welcome back to another episode, guys. It's good to be back. I took a leather break. Um, I had some news in the family. Uh, as you can probably guess, it's not great. So, uh, yeah, I've been taking some time off. But uh, it's a new year, and I'm looking forward to new stuff. And, like the title says, we got an iPhone here. So let's get into it. So I got this from T-Mobile. This video is not sponsored by anybody. They didn't send me this. These are all my thoughts and opinions about the new iPhone. T-Mobile. This video is not sponsored by anybody. They didn't send me this. These are all my thoughts and opinions about the new iPhone. There we go. We're in. So I got this from T-Mobile. So let's see what we got. There it is. The iPhone 15 Plus. Not the Pro, not the Pro Max, not the base model, but we're gonna give the Plus a go. Plus a go, kind of thing. All right, and uh, slide that out. It's a pretty thin box. Not expecting much. Wow, this is the first time I've seen the, the pink one, and that is like in your face pink. My lady has the. Uh, 13 and there's like a like a clear glass on top and then the pink color but this one looks like it's like right on the top look at that the color is like right in the glass unless that's like a wrapping or something it it feels like um matte it's matte pink and it feels like the layers on top so the glass is like frosted feels really nice actually did not expect that i didn't know that was um, like that. So let's put the phone aside a little bit. So this packet, some paperwork, it's very, it is a sticker and one piece of paperwork. This thing is so small. It's, usually the booklets are thicker, but this is like a two page booklet. They don't really want to tell you too much. The Apple sticker and then this little note that says you're no longer required to use a SIM card, a physical one. There's built an eSIM on here. Put that right there. And this, but this is not what you'd normally expect from an iPhone. This is new. This is USB-C to USB-C. Now we've had iPads use USB-C and then the MacBooks use USB-C. So it was bound to happen eventually. This is the first USB-C iPhone, which is perfect because all my other cables are obviously USB-C. This is gonna work out for me nicely. No more extra cables, especially the one in my car where this feels nice. All right, let's, let's get that open. This phone is surprisingly light. I'm going to put the weight right here because my mom has the Pro Max. And that thing is like a brick. This is, feels a lot lighter. It kind of feels like, there's a, it, it feels like this would be a sticker or something. There's like a sticker or skin. That's what it feels like. It's smooth. It's nice. It's not uh, fingerprinty. That's gonna be nice. So far, first impressions, very nice looking phone. And the cool part is you can see the dynamic island right here, right there in the middle, dynamic island. I haven't had a chance to play with an iPhone with dynamic island yet, so this is exciting. Last year on the 14, only the Pro and the Pro Max got the dynamic island. Last year's iPhone 15, which is this, they all have the island. So even the base model island. So if you really want the island and you like the small phones, you can use the base model. Power button right here. So in here, this side, we have the volume up, volume down, and we have the ringer switch. You know, the one that makes it go from loud to silent in an instant. The iPhone 15 Pro and the Pro Max have a programmable button. You can click it and set it to do specific things, whatever you want. Launch the camera, launch an app, maybe. But uh, yeah, it looks like the regular base model 15 and 15 plus just skip the, the normal ring silent toggle kind of a bummer i would have been super psyched about that button i didn't know it was not on not on these models the base models but yeah and then on the bottom we have usb-c awesome and we got uh mics and speakers so yeah oh and this is the plus model so i got just the two lenses i don't have the telephoto uh which is totally cool i mean i don't really zoom in that much or depend on phone photography but it's there 
And if you need it, get, get the bigger sizes. Get the Pro and the Pro Max. But uh, yeah, that's about it. Gonna put my sim in this, my second sim, and, and give this a go. I haven't had a chance to use an iPhone full time in quite a while. I did use I did use the 13 for a little bit for fun, but um, this one will have a full review coming soon.